Well, Dr. Caroline Leaf joins us in the studio. She has a brand new book out, which I'm very excited about. Welcome. Thank you. It's so good to meet you. Thank you. All right, the new book, Think and Eat Yourself Smart. I love it by the title already. Good. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so you talk about in your book having real food, needing to eat real food. Tell us, what is real food? Well, real food is the way God gave it to us. So it doesn't get fiddled with. So there's nothing wrong with food. It's what man has done to food. That's the issue. Mm. So it, things like the modern American diet has to, is it, it started around about 50 years ago, and that's when they started taking food and changing how they grow it, how they how the animals are raised, um, to for profit, profit, very profit driven, bulk profit driven. So diversity yeah. to monoculture, putting animals off the farms into con concentrated animal feeding lots. So that's impacted the nutrition, the value you get, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then basically going taking those products into the laboratory and then fiddling with them even more and adding chemicals. Mm. So by the end of the day, you are actually eating things that aren't food. They've been so distorted that you are eating. Um, you're eating food-like products that aren't giving nutrition to your body that are actually creating the lifestyle diseases that are that we see rampant today. People are dying from preventable lifestyle diseases. In fact, the federal data that just came through between 2014 and 2015 just was released, saying that for the first time in decades, people are dying um, quicker than they should be. So wow. there's been a de an increase in death rates instead of a decrease. There's the, d the death rate's been decreasing for decades for the first time ever. Or in decades, it's increased, which they attribute to lifestyle diseases. So people's yeah, eating wow. habits and their thinking habits. And the two are totally intertwined. So. Wow. How does the layout of the modern supermarket play into all of this? Well, it plays into everything looks all nice and shiny, and as you walk in, it's all designed it does, to catch your eyes. <laughs> this is it. There's a huge marketing impact where it's built into your memories through a lot of repetition. So it's all designed. Everything's very, very planned and organized to catch your eye, to make you very aware. There's a lot of repetition to build memories um, of re brand recognition, pester power with little kids. They mm. see it on TV. Kids are marketed to, to with no control. And this food, the, these food products are increasing obesity and in young kids and there's, there's such a lot of negativity so the supermarket is designed to catch your eye um, bad really really bad stuff close to the counters you know with checkout and um, everything at eye levels like you know grab quickly the healthiest stuff is at the bottom um, generally the freshest stuff is on the outside but fresh these mm. days means nothing as well because most of those vegetables and fruits have been grown with an IV of chemical substances so you're not feeding your body so for the first time ever in history we have people millions not just a few millions almost almost close to a billion people that are starving and obese at the same time so they're huge and starving Wow! It's because that food doesn't give you nutrition it's actually killing your body and why are the so. chocolates always on sale? We need to. <laughs> we need organic to talk chocolate's to. chocolate's really good. You know, is you it? I've never had organic chocolate. Oh my gosh! Wait till you taste it. It's <laughs> way, way superior in taste, and wow. that's actually good for you. So you know, especially the different ways that they make it, like with coconut sugar and that kind of thing. It's amazing, and it's always more, a ex little bit more expensive, but you're yeah. getting nutrition from it. See, when you eat real food, you're not going to eat too much. You're going to eat enough, mm. whereas, because you get satisfied from it. It's going to satisfy your body, whereas uh, you know the modern American diet doesn't. It's it's been designed in the laboratories. They have laboratories, scientifically toxic use of science, where they mm. design how can they overcome the biological limit of your stomach. So it's all designed. Wow. So your brain and everything. So how can we make more money out of you? That's what they say. So they design everything to overcome the the hormones and the brain receptors and the brain circuits so that you actually eat more of this bad food which mm. means they make more money. So real food you'll eat the right amount. Yeah. Modern American diet you won't. Wow, wow. So you mentioned that the cost briefly and, and that's an argument that I hear a lot about healthy food is more expensive. Real real food as you're yeah. saying or organic as well is is yeah to, out of our price range. So what what would you say to people who have that kind of mindset? Well, I'd say that they need to revise it because um, yes, it's expensive, but we vote with our forks. So the more of us that mm. eat real food will bring down the prices. But at the end of the day, what is the real cost to yeah. your body with the health? So that food is doing nothing to your body. It's not doing any. There is no health. When you see fortified with vitamin D, it's mm. not that's vitamin D that's been decontextualized or vitamin C or whatever, and so that's not doing any good for your body. So eventually, the price you pay and all the diseases and things, you know, it's a lot more costly down the line. Also, you're going to eat less. So if you do the cost-to-cost -cost budget, you'll actually, it's not that much more. You won't mm. have as much waste. You know, people buy in bulk because it's cheap and you don't use it all and you eat too much and you have all that. So when you look at it correctly in perspective, you won't be spending that much more. You'll be much more selective about what you, what you buy, what you eat, and you feed your body as opposed to, 
and then you vote with a fork. They chase the money. The, yeah. the, the, com the companies will chase money. So if people stop buying that and stop buying from the local farmer and buying the healthy food, the, the, the demand increases and the price reduces. Yeah, yeah, so that's a really good point. Yeah. Um, what would you say to people who feel like they're too busy to prepare, to take the time to prepare food and, and fast food and junk food? It's just the... Well, you get so much yeah. healthy fast food, first of all. You get mm. really healthy fast food. Secondly, it's a mindset change. So the book's called Think and Eat Yourself Smart. My TV show, Think and Eat Yourself Smart, because you think mm. first. So eating is 80% of, is 80% thinking, even higher. So the way that you emo your emotional state, your, if you're too busy, etc., your body will not get nutrition out of it. So let's say you're eating really good healthy food but you're eating on the run you're eating rushed you worked up you're upset you're angry any of those toxic emotions your body actually can't digest the food properly so the mindset's hugely important in the in the in the meal process so we in a lifestyle that's really really busy so my recommendation is don't eat when you're busy rather wait there'll be a time in your day where you can actually sit still and sit down and eat correctly so your body can actually benefit from that nutrition then you also won't be tempted to grab things on the side you know and grab things on the quick and eat on the on your body just doesn't digest so it's a complete mindset change which is what I explain in the book and I give yeah. 63 days to help with the mindset change and oh my goodness. Or based on the I, need to I need to read this book <laughs> over and over again